Welcome, folks, to your weekly episode of The Bear Show. I am your host, Frédéric Bouchard. And as you can see today, a little different surrounding. I'm at my parents' place babysitting their dogs while they are away. And I had a couple of contracts here in Laval. So I figured I would squat at their place for a couple of days. Uh, hey, beer talk. Come on, it's The Bear Show. So uh, I'm drinking a new product on the market. This has come out in uh, July 2014. It is a La Chaga from a Brasserie Générale. Uh, so basically a month old that product. And it is a mushroom beer. So we don't hear often of those type of beer. And today I'll be reviewing that product. Brasserie Générale is a fairly new uh, brewery on the market. I already did a review on those guys, posting the link here in the description also. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, give some stat on that product. So it is a 6.5% alcohol by volume beer. Uh, like I said, this is how they classify that beer. It is a mushroom beer, like herb, vegetable beer. So it could be in that sort of a fruit beer, vegetable beer, you know, type of, uh, but let's say it's a mushroom beer. It is a beer on lease and it is of course served in a 341 milliliter bottle as you can see. It has a pretty large depot as I, I tasted it before and that I can see here that, that there's some depot in there. So quite a lot. I'm surprised. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, see it's probably some of the uh, the shaga so sh uh, shaga is a type of mushroom that is used in that beer and it is also called uh, ino notus obliquus for people that are really scientific about their uh, your product so it's not that big of a deal to put mushroom in the beer because yeast is a sort of mushroom however it will give out a, a flavor and a, a deepness and a product when you put it in a really earthy flavor to it so uh, without further ado yeah I'm pretty sure I gave all you yeah, pretty sure all the stats were. Oh yeah, there was something interesting. So it's a partnership between uh, Chapeau, uh, Chapeau Les Bois, which is basically the person that's a dog going crazy. She's like, oh, he's talking to people. And uh, let's just let her do a little tantrum. Yeah, that's what happens when you do life things. She's a... So it's a partnership between uh, the people that are basically going in the woods and taking the mushroom. So that company specializes in that, uh, Chapeau Les Bois. And uh, so basically they gave the mushrooms to uh, Brasserie Générale. All right, pour. As you can see, super dark beer, brown really deep brown with a hint of red in it a uh, small head there's no carbonation going on but the head is hanging on it's uh yeah yeah smell wise really smells like a red head uh red hell sorry red head uh well they, they smell differently if <laughs> you catch my drift uh, Give a hint of uh, sugar in there, sort of like maple syrup, I guess. Yeah, I don't necessarily get mushrooms in there. Like uh, I was reading a little bit about the product, uh, and you don't necessarily get that mushroom smell or taste in that beer, but it does give out a nice little depth in the beer. Um, that's pretty much. Not a lot on the smell. All right, tasting. Definitely maple syrup. I get that in there. There's not. It's unfortunate they don't put the uh, the uh, 
ingredient on there. I always like when you can see the ingredients so you can see they put something special. Uh, that, that mushroom, by the way, is a really good antioxidant, so kind of like blueberries. So health-wise, huh? Let's say, yeah, I'm drinking beer to get healthy, right? Um, yeah, they're basically they're 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 saying it's really a amber beer, and it kind of tastes uh, like uh, caramel maple syrup a little bit. But yeah, I, I get that. I don't. When I first tasted it, like about 5-10 minutes ago, I got like something really nice, just a sharp aftertaste, but that stopped abruptly, like boom, and it stopped. And it was, it was nice, it was a dry aftertaste. I don't get it now. Second serving are always... Well, sometimes the second serving is actually what the beer really tastes like. The first one is pretty much just to cleanse your palate and get used to it and then after that it really shows you what it is. But it's unfortunate because it's not showing me really anything special. I'm kind of disappointed in it. You know what I'm going to do? You know I like to do this and I know there's a large depot. So I'm going to shake the depot and I'm going to put it in. Maybe it's going to have a little bit of flavor deepness in there. Oh yeah, you can definitely see oh wow it's big chunks big 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 chunks of depot wow i don't when that depot is that big then it makes me i'm like oh damn i should not have poured and shaped it in but whatever i live with it you know you know i'm crazy uh yolo they say yeah yolo it's great it has a nice little sweetness to it it's well balanced it's not overpowering it's interesting, but I'd say like it was actually not that cheap. Also, it was like four seventy five for a bottle, which I never pay. However, like honestly, it kind of getting more financially uh, stable. So I was like, ah, whatever. It was be wild. So I bought like a beer Ooh, that was a little bit more expensive than what I usually do but it doesn't it doesn't go with my conviction usually I, I like to look i want to drink beer i don't want to get ruined it's not about just being even if i would be a millionaire i don't think i would s spend like so much money once in a while it would be okay but uh, so kind of expensive product is it worth that money i don't think so but it's good i bought it i'm no i no regrets uh but uh hmm. It's well balanced, a really maple syrup taste to that. I wouldn't say anything about the the mushrooms, like mm. so just because I'm sort of a little bit disappointing, I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10. And uh, but yeah, you can try it. Maybe you're gonna feel that it is a good beer. It is a good amber beer, let's be honest. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. It's just that maybe I, I was expecting more to be honest. So on this, well, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to get the videos first hand. And uh, if you want to like the videos, it's always appreciated. If not, then you can always share it. And if you have questions or comments, you can always uh, comment in the uh, section below. On this, uh, have a nice... Uh, well, week I guess, yeah, yeah, it's a week, yeah, because uh, yeah, it's going to be the weekend soon, so uh, alright guys, take care, bye.